Assalamualaikum. My name is Abdul Momin, and I am a registered dietitian nutritionist and a public health professional. Right. So we are uh, done with Eid now. Uh, do let me know through your comments how was your Eid, and before that, how was your Ramadan, and did you follow my diet plans during Ramadan or not? And if you followed, so uh, how uh, are you feeling now? Are you feeling much fitter? Are you feeling much healthier than before? Um, so do let me know all these things uh, in your comments below okay so uh, since eid is over now and uh, i was getting a lot of different requests from um, a lot of you uh, regarding various topics on which i should be making my videos so believe me or not i have made a separate list of all those requests and sooner or later definitely you are going to watch videos on all those topics it will just be a matter of time before i upload uh, videos on all those re requested topics right so today we are going to start off with a brand new series of videos um, that uh, would be focused on physical activity yes uh, physical activity is something which is really really important for all of us and some basic knowledge and information about physical activity is really going to help you in your daily life because uh, this is uh, something which we really lack in our daily lives and um, if we are somehow able to inculcate the habit of regular physical activity uh, then we can definitely reap some excellent benefits out of it so what i have done is uh, that i have split my um, videos into several parts and i will be uploading uh, each one of those videos one by one on daily basis so you have to stay tuned so that you do not miss any of these uh, important videos and also uh, do share these videos with others so that others can benefit as well and as usual i will try to keep my language as simple and straightforward as uh, i possibly can so that even those persons who have nothing to do with me who have nothing to do with science um, they can also understand uh, these things which I'm going to share because at the end of the day health is an important concern for all of us no matter what we do in our daily lives right so let's start today's video in today's video I am only going to talk about what exactly is physical activity what are some of the uh, examples of physical activities specifically those which we can easily do here in Pakistan, those which are culturally and socially um, appropriate according to a South Asian uh, context. Right, so uh, what is physical activity first of all? So physical activity is defined as any bodily movement that is produced by skeletal muscles and that requires uh, energy expenditure. In other words, uh, some movement of the body uh, which is initiated by muscles and it uses some of your calories that is it uses it consumes some of your energy so that is defined as physical activity and it includes a whole lot of activities ranging from uh, daily household um, tasks um, from traveling to you know playing different kinds of sports um, running jogging gymming exercising so all those sorts of things so that is uh, what comes under the definition of physical activity one uh, thing i would like to mention here is that a lot of people confuse the term of uh, physical activity and they interchangeably use uh, the terms of physical activity and exercise which is wrong so in one of my subsequent videos i will be telling you about the basic difference between physical activity and exercise and that you need to understand. Uh, so as of now we are uh, focusing on physical activity not really on exercise. Now let's talk about some of the examples of physical activities which we can do easily um, uh, here in Pakistan or um, South Asian belt or uh, literally anywhere um, you are uh, from the globe you can do all of these physical activities which I'm going to mention uh, so first of all we can do gardening provided there is a backyard there is a lawn there is a small terrace where you have a few plants then you can obviously do brisk walk in my Ramadan videos I have also focused very much on brisk walk so brisk walk is the kind of walk if you don't really know that is the kind of walk uh, which you uh, do so fast that despite the um, 
weather conditions um, you still perspire a little bit and you are uh, somewhat out of breath so that is known as brisk walk as opposed to the stroll which we normally confuse with the brisk walk uh, then uh, running is one uh, form of uh, very uh, one very good form of physical activity again uh, jogging is something which you can do easily sports any kind of sports um, ranging from badminton to cricket to football to hockey to table tennis to any other kind of sport um, that also comes under the definition of physical activity then one supreme form of physical activity is cycling which unfortunately um, uh, is something which we have stopped doing during the last few years because of maybe uh, the modernization or urbanization or the road uh, situation not really favoring the cyclists or stuff like that but cycling is one excellent form of physical activity then comes swimming swimming is again uh, a supreme form of physical activity but obviously we can imagine that a lot of people do not have access to proper swimming facilities so that could be um, a barrier in terms of doing it re on regular basis then skipping is something which you can uh, do on daily basis for females uh, especially residing in Pakistan a lot of them make complaints that they cannot go outside because of uh, one reason or the other to do some physical activity so skipping is something which can easily be done at your homes even you can do skipping inside your bedroom provided that you have some space um, then treadmill a lot of people have got treadmill these days especially when we talk about urban centers or cities so treadmill is something which you can uh, really enjoy doing while even while watching television although that is not very much recommended then squats um, do you remember the kind of punishment uh, we would have uh, in our school days that is the sit and stand uh, sort of punishment so that is something which is known as squat so that is very good form of physical acti activity that you can easily do at your home uh, then weightlifting again uh, when it uh, comes to weightlifting you do not necessarily to buy an expensive membership of a uh, uh, nearby gym so you can simply purchase a couple of dumbbells um, and you can start uh, doing some light uh, weightlifting even in your homes then again climbing the stairs that is a very good form of physical activity again that is something which you can uh, easily uh, do on daily basis and not to forget the hiking uh, which is again very good form of physical activity especially people uh, such as those residing in Islamabad who have got this very good opportunity of hiking uh, because uh, Magla Hills are just nearby and there are a lot of um, dedicated tracks and trails where people go um, especially on weekends and they do hiking right so these are all examples of physical activities and you can choose whichever physical activity you want and uh, you can enjoy doing, doing your physical activity get fit, fitter get healthier lose some weight get in shape uh, so these are all um, benefits, potential benefits of your physical activities. Uh, two things I would like to mention here uh, which are very important is that number one if you have been leading a sedentary lifestyle, you are not in habit of doing a lot of physical activity, then make a slow start towards physical activity. What sometimes happens is that people are extremely enthusiastic or they certainly uh, suddenly become extremely enthusiastic about uh, doing some physical activity and then they would hit the gym uh, once or twice and then they would just uh, come back home really tired and then they would be um, then they would not be doing uh, that much of physical activity so if you have been uh, leading a sedentary lifestyle just make a very slow steady start towards the physical activity and then try to be more consistent more regular about that and then you can always um, you know invest some more time in your physical activities and number two whatever form of physical activity you choose try to stay consistent with that try to uh, do that particular physical activity on daily basis so that is something that is really going to help you now one important question which a lot of people ask me as a dietitian is that uh, which kind of physical activity is best for you uh, so my simple answer to that question is that any sort of physical activity which you can do on regular basis on consistent basis that is the best form of physical activity for you so i have mentioned to you a lot of uh, different physical activities you can choose whichever physical activity you want whichever physical activity you enjoy whichever physical activity you can afford doing in terms of finances in terms of time in terms of accessibility 
and uh, that is really going to help you and make you healthier and fitter so that is all from my side today um, do like my video and share this video with others so that others can benefit as well do let me know through your comments if you like the video and this whole idea of a series on physical activity and if you are watching my video for the very first time do hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon as well so you do not miss any of my uh, future videos inshallah we will meet next time um, until then take care